welcome back welcome back gem babes to another sunday reset that's right another sunday reset it's your girl Gemma. if you're new here my name is Gemma. to my ogs welcome back i need you to just get up girl get up and we're gonna get right into it because the house is the house needs to get tidied up we need to be on a productive week and it starts by getting your shit done so let's go oh happy sunday gems babe maintaining a clean and organized home is crucial for several reasons okay first it promotes physical health by reducing the risk of illness and allergies as dust, dirt, and clutter can harbor germs and bacteria. Secondly, it enhances mental well-being by providing a scenario and stress-free environment, which can positively impact mood and productivity. Additionally, an organized home saves time and reduces frustration by making it easier to find items and navigate through your space. Lastly, it creates a welcoming atmosphere for both residents and guests, fostering a sense of pride and comfort in one's living space. I said get up and get things done, baby girl, because it ain't going to get it done by itself. So this morning, we literally got a late start. We had a late start today because we were out late yesterday. And then when we came in, we had so much things to get done and tidy. So once I woke up today, I immediately started, you know, once I made the kids breakfast, I went ahead and got it done. So we all know that I change my sheets once a week. <clears throat> Sometimes I do change it in the middle of the week. Let's just take a pause. I don't know if anyone can comment down below and can relate. Me personally, my husband works, I work Monday through Friday, and my husband works Tuesday through Saturday, sometimes just Tuesday to Friday. However, one thing for sure, 10 things for certain, I find it like a really, really big thing for when he comes home on a Saturday, especially just after having a long week in general, period, there's nothing like a perfect way to start off your week then on a Sunday night when you're going to bed and your sheets are brand new, nice and clean, nice and fluffed up, that feeling literally has me melt into my bed. It has me melt into my man. It just, I mean, like, just all motivational. It just motivates my week. It makes me have a productive week. I want my kids' sheets changed. I want my sheets changed. It's just something in my house, like, when my sheets are changed, you already know the vibe. It's just a different vibe. So, you know, change your sheets, girl. Change your sheets. Not once a month, not twice a month. Hey, if you can change your sheets twice a week, girl, kudos see you. If you can't get it to twice a week, make sure you at least change your sheets once a week. Yes. When you take them off, automatically have another set to change your sheets. Because I think a lot of times what discourages us from changing our sheets is waiting for it to go in the wash machine. And if you don't have a wash machine in your house, you got to go to the laundromat. Girl, I've been there, done that. Get you another pair of sheets. You take these off, put the other on, put the other ones in the wash, and it's not stopping anything. You don't have to come back to it. Just FYI hack. That's what I do. It works lovely for me. Get you a new pair of sheets, girl, and change your sheets. I said what I said.
So I don't know if a lot of you realize, but I literally took out my braids. So this morning I went right ahead and before I did breakfast, I went and I relaxed my hair and then I washed my hair. So nine out of 10 times, me personally, I want to go and wash my hair in a clean bathtub. So while the relaxer was in my hair, I went ahead and I um, washed my bathtub you know put my stuff in it my cleaning products in it and then i washed my bathtub and once i was done with that it took me about 15 minutes i went ahead and washed the relaxer out of my hair so we did that early early in the morning i went ahead and i mopped my floors so all i had to do was come back hang my curtain clean my toilet bowl again because regardless the kids everyone was using the bathroom so i cleaned my toilet bowl again I went ahead today and I washed all of my brushes, my combs, and all those wonderful things. And um, we took care of that. So your bathroom is really, 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 really important. This is the first time I'm actually cleaning the toilet bowl with you guys. However, I have to be very intentional about my toilet bowl. I clean it literally maybe, I want to say, twice a day. And it's driving me crazy, but I have to because my daughter, she's four years old. She's potty trained. She runs to the bathroom. I do have my son. I do have my husband. We already know what that means. I'm not going to go into details because I'm not here to shame nobody, especially my own. But baby, I need to make sure when she go use that bathroom, it is as sanitary as possible. She touches with her hands. You know, she sits on the toilet. So it's super, super important for me that I keep the bathroom clean, I keep the faucet clean, I keep the sink tidied because she is using it. So, and there's times where she goes to the bathroom and she doesn't have assistance. So I'm not 110% sure if she's washing her hands thoroughly. It's just something in the back of my mind that's always playing. So I just make sure that the bathroom is nice and clean for her because we know that comes with a lot of germs and bacteria and we ain't having that over here. We just not. But let's get into this clean this bathroom. And I hope you're getting up and cleaning your bathroom too, girl. I said get up. Get up. So, like I stated, I went ahead and I soaked my brushes today in some Dawn dishwashing soap. And I let it sit for most of the morning. And I said when I came back to clear off and clean off my sink and, you know, finish off my bathroom, I will go ahead and wash those out. So, that's exactly what I did. It's really important that you wash your brushes, especially if you're using jam, gel. Um, me, particularly in my home. Um, each of my kids, they have their own combs and their own brush. So, look, we're not the perfect home. I try to implement things. It doesn't always work that way. So, sometimes somebody else is using somebody else's brushes. So, I just like to make sure it's washed, they're clean. I literally try to clean my brushes every three weeks. Sometimes when we have braids in, like I have braids in, Erica has braids in, which is my oldest daughter. I don't go ahead and wash the brushes. I may skip However, it's really important that you do wash and sanitize your brushes, sis. Wash them brushes just like you taking care of your hair, just like you taking care of your house, just like you taking care of your car. Mm-hmm. Treat it like that. It's very important.
If you reach this far in the video, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting my platform. Thank you for joining my community. I really appreciate you, and there's no community without you. Um, I also want to take this time to actually ask for a huge favor. And if you can, comment down below and just drop a one, and I'll know that you actually helped me out on this favor. So as you all know, my family and I are from Haiti and Haiti are going through some really tough times. I really, really would appreciate if you just keep us in your prayers and just, you know, keep us prayed up because, you know, right now we really, really need the prayer. It's a lot going on. However, we do have loved ones, family members that are still there and we want nothing but the best for Haiti. So just keep us in your prayers. I appreciate you and I thank you in advance. So we all know that productive week, making sure that everything's in place. Make sure you have that toothpaste, make sure you have that mouthwash, make sure you refill those soap dispensers, make sure, make sure, make sure, okay? Because there's nothing like being in a rush in the morning and not having the essentials that you need to make you have a productive day. So if you need to go get that lotion, go get that lotion. If you don't go get that toothpaste, go get that toothpaste. I said what I said, that's a part of a Sunday reset. So another reason why it's super, super important, the same way you change your sheets on a weekly basis, make sure you clean those bathrooms, girls. Make sure you clean those bathrooms because baby, those floor mats be getting funky, okay? So you need to take them up and you need to go wash them. Me personally, I wash them in a separate spin by themselves so that we make sure we're not mixing our bathroom stuff with our regular daily clothes as far as me and my family but it's super important for me to get to the bathroom on a weekly basis because i need to make sure i'm changing the mats out so that we're not keeping any type of funky odors in the restroom So those of my OGs who know that my son is the one who usually takes care of the vacuum um, as far as the vacuum chores in the house. Well, today I went ahead and took care of that. And I do it sometimes too, because you know when you want to get that good, good, good deep clean, they say when you want it done the right way, you do it yourself. So um, I went ahead and I just gave upstairs a quick, quick vacuum. Um, I always use the baking soda floor um, carpet. Um, powder or I would use the wizard so just to give it a nice refreshing make the house feel light so that's just what we went ahead and did nothing too crazy but we getting it done and of course we all know that baby Lala is never too far away yeah she's here with me while I'm doing my wonderful voiceover for you guys on this wonderful Sunday So nonetheless, we all know that this is where the kids eat. This is where the kids, you know, majority of the time does their homework. It is really important to, once again, keep this space sanitized. But today we're going to give it a little bit of oomph before we have dinner. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set the table and wrap things up for the evening. 
I'm super excited to be here. I know you guys know, and if you don't know, you are my motivation for showing up on a weekly basis. And I love it. And I hope you enjoy this content. Make sure you like, you share, and you subscribe. Don't forget to tell a friend about your girl Gemma's Gems. Also, make sure you turn on your post notification bells because every time I drop a new vlog, you definitely want to be the first to know. However, please, please, please don't forget to keep me and my wonderful culture um, in your prayers. Pray for Haiti. We need it now than ever before. Nonetheless, your girl loves you. Until the next upload, have a blessed Sunday. Bye. Don't forget to thank God for what he's doing in your life, what he's done in your life, and what he's getting ready to do in your life. Thank you.